Fontane Arte was founded in the 1930s by great architect Gio Ponti and by members of Fontana family who were at that time involved in the glassmaking business. Our brand is in constant search of new forms and design ideas, but not the ones that will soon become outdated. We want to create something that will always be in vogue. Recently, due to division of the market into smaller sectors, we started to pay more attention to technical lighting. It is becoming an inseparable part of most contemporary designer projects. Besides, we made our decorative lighting product line considerably broader and more diverse. Thus, we try to satisfy our most exigent clients. E offrire al distributore, ma soprattutto a offrire al prescrittore, cioè agli architetti e ai lighting consultant, un range di prodotti che possa coprire tutte le loro esigenze. The idea of cooperation between Fontana Arte and talented architects emerged in 1932, when the position of the art director of Fontana Arte belonged first to Gio Ponti and later to Pietro Chiesa. I joined the company in 1979, and I decided that the company had to return to origins and traditions. I decided to revise the company's major milestones, remembering the period of collaboration with great masters of architecture like Guy Olenti, Pierluigi Ceri, Umberto Riva and Ettore Sozzas. Today we still follow this path, committing the biggest and most important projects to famous architects like Kapliski, Dominique Perrault, Alvaro Siza and David Chipperfield. We also involve young talented specialists who, in our opinion, have a great potential to become great designers. The vertical lamp is my first design project created for Fontana Arte brand. As a basis, I took the legendary star-shaped lamp created in the 30s and reinterpreted it in a very unexpected, innovative way. The Polaris lamp is notable for its original extravagant shape. The iris lamp is intended mainly for lighting of walls and ceilings. I use classic plafond with fluorescent light. My first project for Fontana Arte was the tubo lamp, which is in fact a piece of a real tube. The smile lamp is a real challenge for the art of design. I tried to mix technical and functional characteristics with aesthetic component. The chips lamp radiates three-dimensional magic light. It is the light that you can actually touch. We always turn to history and traditions of our company. I believe that the return to aesthetic values of the past allows us to evolve and create things for further generations. We created numerous significant products under the name of Fontana Arte, so that many modern designers are still inspired by them. La produzione di Fontana, ma che caratterizzano bene anche gli anni successivi. For instance, the illuminator lamp by Pietro Chiesa, the 0024 lamp by Gio Ponti, the 1853 lamp by Max Ingrande, the Scintilla lamp by Castiglioni, the Parola lamp by Gaio Lenti, the Nobi lamp by the designers of Metis Studio. 
or the new works of young designers like the Tubo Lamp by Marco Merendi or Vertigo and Polaris Lamps by Marco Achebis. And if we look at all these objects of design art created on various stages of company's development, we can see the general connecting line. Recently we did projects for Bocconi University, Bulgari Hotel and we've just finished the projects for Andre Putman's new hotel in New York and also for one of the largest hotels in Dubai. We always have a lot of challenging plans and bright ideas. Our lamps differ a lot from all other lamps. We are immensely pleased when people look at our products, even created in the 40s, and immediately identify them as the products of Fontana Arte. Or, when we come out on the market with a new idea, people say that we hit the mark again, having created another fabulous, inimitable lamp of Fontana Arte. It means that all our efforts are completely justified. Che le collezioni, i progetti, le lampade, gli oggetti sono molto importanti, però quello che è più importante. Fontana Arte embodies a specific culture and individual lifestyle. Una cultura di uno stile di vita che è lo stile di vita di Fontana Arte.